Thanks for tuning in to Raffoon LLC. I'm Ron Raffoon, and as always, I'm talking about pipeline coatings and pipeline protection. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, well, good news, I'm going to make more, hopefully every week. But I'd really love for you to like or subscribe or both to this program so that when I do publish something, you get notified about it and you can come back and take a look at it. If there's something that I say that you don't like or that you love, please comment on it. If you've got questions, I welcome all questions that you have. In fact, today's video is as a result of one of the questions from the last video. The last video, for those of you who weren't watching or you want to go back and reference it, was about how the Spy Brand Holiday Detector Model 785 works. So the question that I got has to do with how to set the voltage on a pipeline when the pipeline has already been coated and the surface is sweaty. All right, so I'm gonna start with my answer to that, and then we'll jump into the heart of what today's topic is. Today's topic is gonna to be how a holiday detector really works. So, to answer the question, when you've got a sweating pipe on an already coated surface, a high voltage holiday detector is not your best option. And the reason is, water is highly conductive. Okay, and if you've got a highly conductive moisture all over the surface of your pipe, water will act as a capacitor, and as you're passing your holiday detector over, it can just start jeeping like crazy, and you'll think you've got a bunch of holidays when all you're really doing is picking up the moisture on the surface. So my response to that is, if you've got a sweating pipe, the best bet for you to do is to take a sponge holiday detector, a wet sponge holiday detector, and use that to test for discontinuities in the surface because that will use the water that's there as the pathway to the surface and you can find holidays that way. So if you've got sweating pipe, I would recommend using a sponge holiday detector. Um, they're good for up to about 20 or so mils, but with water on the surface, uh, if you use a surfactant, it can go even higher. Now, moving on to today's topic. When we're talking about holiday detection, it's very important to know what a holiday is, okay? Holidays are defined as either a missed coating spot, so just an area that you didn't put anything, a discontinuity or a pinhole that goes down to the surface, the substrate, and in pipelines we're talking about steel, or thin film thickness. Now, because that's the definition, a lot of people think that a holiday detector like the SPY 785 or similar portable holiday detectors for pipelines will pick up thin coating thickness. The problem with that is, is that if you've got a coating that has a very high dielectric strength, it takes a lot of voltage to break that coating down to create a pinhole that it will identify as thin coating. So to give you an idea, one of the most prolific FBE coatings on pipelines, which I'm not gonna go into FBE today, I've got whole sessions planned on that. But one of the most prolific is Scotch Coat 6233. So as an example, Scotch Coat 6233 has a dielectric strength of 1180 volts per mil. Okay, so if we're talking a standard 16 mil coating, that is nearly 19,000 volts to break it down. The last holiday detector we talked about only goes up to 15,000 volts. So you could crank that baby all the way up, theoretically, and run it down a 16 mil coating and never find a holiday if it is a good uniform coating. And it's a new one, which that's important. I could cover that in another time, but holiday detection is so far basically under the new coating testing. Um, I don't think that there's a standard for uh, dug up coatings that you holiday test. Anyway, moving past that. So to give you another example, in 2017, PRCI published a paper discussing dielectric strength and specifically FBE, right? And the reason I keep referencing FBE is because about 90% of transmission and distribution lines have FBE on them. So when they did their study, they found it on a 12 mil coating that was done really well, 
they could kick the thing up to 7,000 volts and not ever find a holiday. So a holiday detector will not find low film thickness on dense, very high dielectric strength coatings. Now on softer coatings, like things like tapes, when you pass over those, they have a little bit lower dielectric strength, but they're very thick coating systems. So it takes a lot of voltage to punch through them. However, if you travel slow enough, you can actually punch through those because they have low dielectric strength. So if you've got that thing cranked up all the way and you go back the first time, you find nothing, but you want to go back again, the more times you go back, the more you're penetrating that uh, soft coating and you can create holidays that weren't there. So that's one of the things to keep in mind. There's lots of little nuances to how a holiday detector works. And if you want more information on that, please feel free to give me a call. My contact information is down below or email me um, or call one of the manufacturers. These guys have tons of information. They understand what you're going through. Pipeline is a very specific industry and we see all kinds of weird things out there. So I'm here as a resource. They're here as a resource. But you need to understand that a holiday detector does not pick up all types of holidays. It is primarily a pinhole locator. It's primarily there to tell you when there is some sort of discontinuity from the surface of the coating and the steel of the coating. And then you can patch that so that you don't have a void in your coating. And honestly, it's only going to find those discontinuities if your voltage is set properly. The reason voltage has to go higher with thicker mills is not because the coating is different, it's because the arc has to be able to reach the substrate. And so when you've got like, say one of those little electric balls and you put your fingers on it, and at first it's just kind of a little bit in there, and then you put your contact on, well, you have some charges in you, and then you're also grounded. And so those charges go to your fingers, but you have to have enough of a charge for it to happen. And so with voltage on a holiday detector, the farther you are from the surface, the higher the voltage has to be. So if you're right here, you're gonna need less voltage than if you're right here. And it's kind of like when you are rubbing your feet on the carpet and you go up and you touch somebody, you don't have a lot of voltage built up in you, but you've got enough that if you get close enough, it'll arc to them. That's the whole idea. You wanna have enough voltage that it will actually make that arc and get there which is why it's important to know what your coating thickness is and set your holiday detector appropriately so that it can make that jump. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please like, subscribe, let me know. Uh, I look forward to the next video. Probably gonna be on FBE because I keep bringing it up. Have a good day.